After many hours of grinding, I can finally make the Tricapitator. So for those of you who don't know, the Tricapitator is an axe that it's basically an improvement over the jungle axe. And it just cuts down the whole tree. It's amazing. It's a golden axe. You can insta mine with it. It's just incredible. So let's get crafting. I got all the obsidian in my inventory. So let's go over to the crafting table and put everything in here. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stacks and the tricapitator. It's actually pretty cool that it keeps all the enchantments. So just pick it up. And there we go. The Tricapitator, the best, the best X in the game. So let's go over how to get this axe. So what I did, like usually, usually people just buy the obsidian from the bazaar or just like buy it off the auction house. But what what I did, and it didn't take me very long actually. I just went to the end, and I wait. Okay, I filled my inventory with obsidian just like that. Just put everything here. And I head straight down to kill zealots. Now I don't get their drops, but I do get the obsidian from the obsidian defenders, and that's what gets you all the obsidian. You just you basically just kill them, and really good. So yeah. Oh, there was just a dragon, so I can't really show you. But you just go around and kill all the zealots, kill all the obsidian defenders, and you just get ton of obsidian. I'll show you a, like a pretty good route. So you go down here, the obsidian defenders, zealots, zealots, obsidian defenders. Over here there are like there's usually a huge like a pretty big group of obsidian defenders right here hiding down here. You go over here, lots of watchers here. And usually there's a zealot right here and a zealot right here. And obsidian defenders right here. It's pretty damn good. Now for using it, I would recommend getting a haste three potion. Now what you do is you put three water bottles here, and I forgot my nether word, so let me just pick one from here. And yeah, you basically just put the nether word in like that, and it brews. You put the cobblestone in, it keeps brewing. Then enchanted glowstone and then enchanted redstone. And that's basically how you get haste three potions for a long period of time. Um never mind, I made an oopsie, it's actually coal, not cobblestone. And with a power of editing, uh, we got three haste three potions ready for us to use. So we're gonna use this axe obviously to level up foraging. So we basically need to go to the like you know, the dark area where all the trees are and just like the best area is probably the dark oak if it's not too occupied or the uh, east spruce just drink a haste three potion and you'll see how you can tear down trees like that just look at this it's amazing you can insta mine the tree and it will also vanish like just like that look at this it's just the best thing in the world just it's great it's really great just look at this and you get so much foraging xp and if you want to go like a step a step further you can go to your ender chest and um no not your ender chest oh yeah oh, it's in my ender chest you can get a foraging xp boost a potion you just get a ton of foraging xp so just like that you just pop down this tree and it all vanishes like immediately Look at this! I can turn, I can turn down trees like instantly. Mr. Beast hates me. The joke wasn't funny. I'm sorry. And in seconds, I got an inventory full of dark oak wood, and it's just great. It's so good. And yeah, by the way, if the audio isn't great as it used to be, and uh, it's just because I moved a room. Like yeah, I'm just in a different room right now, a different room of the house. So it's just, yeah, I don't know what to do with it. It sounds odd, but that's like we gotta deal, deal with it. By the way, this entire video was recorded at 1 a.m. So if I sounded a bit, you know, tired, that's why. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button. And I'll see you all in the next one.
Goodbye.